Hi, it's Thad with Willoway Nursery here in Avon, Ohio. I'm here today to talk a little bit about Rosa Sharon. Um, our degree days are at 1331 here and Rosa Sharon blooms at 1347. So you can see we're getting blooms on all these. Uh, proven winners are looking really good here. Um, we've been trimmed and we're ready to go and ship these to people um, real clean. Uh, these all get sprayed regularly, uh, both a fungicide and insecticide. Um, and ready to go. The other things that we want to look at here is really Rose, Rose of Sharon is one of the best indicators this time of year um, and really is going to we're going to be going into about 1500, 1600 before we get the real next indicator plant. Um, but some of the things we want to be watching for um, this weekend I found the first Japanese beetle adults which are supposed to come out about 1200 degree days but they've already shown up, or haven't shown up until just now. I haven't really seen feeding damage yet, but um, that's something you want to be on the lookout for in your roses and some of their more preferred crops like asparagus, uh, coralis, some of those varieties they'll show up first in uh, birch and linden. Um, look for the feeding high up in the plants to start. Um, they generally feed on the top and kind of lace the wings, uh, leaves out, and then they'll work their way down. Um, so that's a scarab beetle that's got a metallic green with brown um, backside to it. Um, they come from a grub out of the turf and then they'll, the adults go down and lay eggs here as they mate um, going through until oh about the end of August is typically. Um, the other one is spotted lanternfly at uh, six, 1160. Um, that's a new emerging pest that's regulated um, but the adult emergence starts so we want to be on the lookout for that in Tree of Heaven, um, just making sure that we're um, watching for all these regulated pests to make sure that nobody has them. Um, we're not spreading them on nursery stock and we want to make sure that we know how to identify that. So there's some really good resources through um, extension offices and also the USDA um, has some. New York has a really good extension bulletin on spotted lanternfly. Um, and the other one is pine needle scale at 1349, 1350. Um, they have a second generation that emerged. So um, pine needle scale is one that we want to be out looking for. And if you know you have it, you should probably be putting a second spray out at this point. Um, so those are a couple pests that we're really looking for. Um, right now we're in a growing mode of just trying to kind of get plants looking really good here. Um, we're going to start changing over our nutrients to kind of bulking them up for fall and getting them ready for winter. So. Um, we keep, still keep fertilizer here till about August 1st. Um, at that point, we start reducing the amount of fertilizer we're using. We want to start to slow the plants down and really start getting them ready for winter and hardy and making sure they're going to survive winter survivability, but also making sure that they're uh, in a good place to winter and, and be successful for the next spring. Thanks. Have a great day.